What's going on, my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Quinny Bags, and today, my dudes, I'm going to be teaching you how to back up your Minecraft Java Edition worlds in case you ever corrupt them. And this will make it so you never lose your world ever again. So let's get started. All right, so first thing we're going to want to do is make it to our Minecraft Java Edition launcher. Now, if you're playing Bedrock, don't worry. I'm going to come up with a video for Bedrock. Honey, I waxed the copper. All right, let's make our way to the single player selection. All right, so here are all of our worlds and we wanna back one up. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this one right here and we're gonna go down to edit at the bottom of the page. Click edit and we're gonna click make backup. Easy as that, boom bada bing. Now, if your world's a little bit bigger, it might take a minute to back up. See how mine was only 10 megabytes, it was nice and quick, came up with that little notification. If you've got a massive old world, it's gonna take a few minutes, okay? It might freeze this whole Java launcher for a second and you might be freaking out. Oh crap, what did I do? Don't even stress, my dude. All right, eventually it will back up. Just let it do its thing. Don't touch anything and just let it do its thing. All right, so now I wanna teach you guys something else. How do I actually access my backups and actually go ahead and revert and use my old world? Say your world got corrupted, it's not working. All right, so let's teach you guys how to do that right now. How to actually use your backup folder if your game is corrupted. So we're gonna open backups folder here. So here you go, you're in your backups and here down here is your world, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open that and then once you open that, you'll actually find your world. So this will be your file right here. So this is your world name. We're gonna drag it onto our desktop, all right? So drag it onto your desktop once you're done opening it. Then we're gonna go back to .minecraft. So see on this actual um, folder here, we're gonna go back to .minecraft. Now, if you ever get lost and you can't find where this is again, you can always do percent app data in the corner here, down in the start menu, hit that, go to .minecraft, and then we can actually find our backups and everything again. So right now we're on .minecraft and we're gonna look for our saves folder. Here's our saves folder. So here is my world. My world is named world, all right? I know that sounds stupid, but we're gonna go ahead and delete this. Yes, don't worry. If you don't trust me, you can always just drag it and put it in like your downloads folder for now, all right? Just in case. Uh, okay, well you can't do that because it's open right now, but you get the point. Anyway, so if you want to, you can just drag this one in to here. Now, the problem is they'll have the same name. So if you don't wanna do that, you might wanna nickname this one up here, world uh world backup let's go let's just call it world backup we'll drop it in here once world backup is in the save so we can exit this out go back to minecraft cancel this cancel this go back into single player and here we go we have the backup all right so here's here's where it actually names again if you look under hello my name is quinny bags it says world backup that's because i named this file world backup okay so remember that all right, so now we should be able to play this, no problem, and this will be a backed up version of the world that was corrupted. Super easy, and boom bada bing, baby, we have our world back. Now, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, do not forget to smash like, comment, and subscribe if you need any questions to ask me. If you need to ask me any questions, drop them down below. I will try to help you as soon as possible. I've been really monitoring my YouTube comments. I've been trying to help out people as much as I can lately. So if you need any questions, just drop them down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It'll mean a ton to me. And if you guys have any video recommendations, drop them down below as well, and I can make those for you. I'll see you next time, my dudes. Peace out.